well 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 welcome to your eighth angular js tutorial and from this tutorial onwards the difficulty would escalate quickly so i highly recommend you to pay attention to all of the tutorials from now onwards because we have finally covered all of the beginner stuff in angular js and what it takes to you know just know the basics of angular js so now from now onwards we'll be working with AngularJS MVC architecture and MVC stands for model view controller so before actually that I was telling in the last tutorial that I'll teach you controllers in this tutorial I thought that it's necessary for you to know that what is actually model view controller and if you are a tech guy from um, coming from a PHP or ASP background then you should already know this what MVC is and how it works but for all of you right there which are new to this MVC let me explain to you uh, model view controller is um, basically you can say it's a design it's a pattern for all of the web applications on the internet so it stands for three terms model view and controller simply it says that model is basically how the application um, kind of behaves with data view clearly says that whatever is visible to the user and controller is the coding which would act between uh, model and view so what this controller do is that it would act like a link between model and controller so we have uh, this kind of structure which is model view separated isolated from each other and controller acts like a bridge between them so model view controller or MVC model is po uh, popular only because that these two run in isolated environments and the logic of the application is completely separated from the user interaction so controller kind of receives all the requests from the user and pass it on to model and model similarly whatever it do with the data passes it on to controller and controller may or may not modify that data and pass it on to the view so in angular js we would be mainly working with controllers and which is the link between these two so the controller would kind of work to respond to the user data as well and to the model as well so you can can I imagine model and view like two persons standing on the opposite ends of a bridge and controller is the bridge itself so those two persons are isolated from each other but the bridge acts like a link between them so that's it for the MVC architecture and we'll be working a lot in MVC with angular JS because it's a model view controller architecture a framework and I hope that this much introduction to MVC is uh, good for now to understand and work with controllers from the next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe, keep watching my videos and I'll see you then. Goodbye.